Hello music scholars, I want to make sure you know how to get to the library. I'm not sure where you'll be viewing this video, so I want to make sure you know to go to bigbin.edu, go to the library, and when you're looking for your class guides, go to this class guide area and you'll find your guide under Elm for music, but it's missing a few letters. It looks like it does in the searchable uh, class guide. And this is your very general research guide. I want you to know that there's actually more available to you than simply just this. So please reach out and ask for help at the library as you need to do so. You'll see over here, Ask a Librarian um, is available to you 24 seven. So I'm just gonna go through these really, really fast. And before I do, I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the search tricks. Sometimes you don't get a hold of something because it may have many variations. It could have like a different tenses. Suppose you're looking for, okay, you're probably not looking for trauma, but it's a beautiful example. Trauma, traumatic traumatizing. You see how they all end in an A. When you put this asterisk, it gets all these things. So if you're struggling to find a name, a word, or something like that that has different parts or phrases or tenses, do that and that's gonna make your search better. Also, maybe with a group's name, a period or a time, put it in quotation marks. That even works on Google. That way it searches for your phrase together and this could really help you out. Also, when you're using the databases and also Google, it's true. You can use Boolean logic searching. That means if you have a word here, early music and flute, this will talk about find the articles and search results that have to do with early music and flute. Early music is sort of wonky, but you get the picture. And if you're looking for something that's um, similar and you're looking about, uh, they're like synonyms, band or orchestra, or it's kind of like marketing or advertising or branding. You kind of string them together so you can get them all at the same time. And if there's something showing up in your search, you don't want it there, use not. Like um, if I was looking for plants in Florida and my search results came up with nuclear plants, I would say not nuclear and would take it right out. So I think that'll kind of get you started on some things. And I'm going to take you really quick an academic search premiere. There's two things on here that are similar. Academic search premiere and ProQuest are going to have a great deal of music and pop culture information, wide ranging from astrology to astronomy. They have music journals, philosophy journals, history journals. It's going to be rich. If you're looking for things about concerts and people and well-known people and events and music tied to historical or social objects, these two will be awesome for you. In a way, they work in a similar fashion. I want to take you over. If you get a, <clears throat> a warning certificate, just go right over it. I'm going to do like live, live aid queen. I can do that if you're looking for the concert. And I will find I have a certain number of search results. Make sure you put full text and it'll clean them up. So I might have this wrong, but you can see live aid queen. If I'm looking for queen and I want to look for Freddie Mercury, I would do an N. Then we talk about him in context of the group, of course. And we'll have some search results. Again, make sure you select full text. What you see is what you get. And you'll see that it has things back to 2007. So this might be something. This would include, in this case, a magazine articles, a scholarly journal, a trade publication, and a newspaper article. So that may be a great place to start. Put in your different concepts, your music, the title, the song, whatever you need into this section. Make sure it says full text and go and you should be able to find something. There are two things that are similar on here. The African American history info base and the ancient and medieval history info base. They both are going to look alike. So I'm not going to go into both of them. They're going to have primary and secondary source materials. And if you're looking for things, say you're looking on the history of jazz, you could put that in this piece. And in most part, it's not going to come up with articles, but it's going to come up with uh, primary sources. Sometimes it'll be images, diaries, and different things like that, timelines, news, and all sorts of different things. So 
make sure you kind of look at all the pieces and you can fit it into different time frames or whatever you're trying to find. And um, both of the databases will work just like put in your word and it's going to have this little stretch of information you can find in this data. Now, Biography in Context is uh, part of the In Context series, opposing viewpoints, um, science, global issues, all very good. In fact, global issues may be awesome for this as well. But suppose you're looking for someone who's known for hip hop, or you want to look for some background or some sort of fight or some sort of person. When you bring this up, it talks about biographies, it gives you videos, websites, academic journals, it gives you an overview. Sorry about that, I can't get the view out today. It will give you um, the names and different ideas and people who might have been involved. There's a reference, they'll talk about overviews of pop culture. So you'll have a richness in here that's not just a person's biography, it also gives the context of what they're involved in. Suppose you're looking for Dr. Dre, you could put in Dr. Dre, and it's going to come up with a section of information. It's going to give you an overview that has more value, as it's uh, at least edited, than uh, Wikipedia. And uh, down in this area, it'll have featured content, videos, images, and all types of things you might be able to use. And also on every page, I'm just going to go into this biography here. It does have a helpful way to cite it because sometimes this is a hard one to cite. Just go up here and you have APA uh, 7th edition, thank goodness, and APA. Always copy and correct it, but it is available to you and a little bit easier to use. Also, I put up a link here on ebooks, and all these things are located on databases A to Z under our subject heading and also alphabetically. But this is how you could search books completely. Suppose you're looking for something that includes, I don't even know if this is in here, so let's just have a good time with a flute. Oh, this talks about the flute. If you need some pieces about the flute itself, or maybe the different ways it was used, uh, Bozart's magic flute. I, all these types of things that you might find. When you see it, you will be able to read it here. If you uh, go to the full download, it's going to ask you to join the website, which is fine. It's free. It's fast. But if you just want to read it, go ahead and just select the PDF full text. And this is a really great thing that uh, this can do if you don't need to read the whole piece and you're just looking for sections. First of all, you'll have a table of contents and here you can do something like search within and I will put in Mozart. I don't know if it's going to come up in this book, but what it does is it finds out the uh, word and it gives you a little bit of context and then you can go to the page. So we will have this here and this looks really huge, but on the bottom you can minimize it make it smaller and go to different pages. And you cannot print out the entire thing, but you can print out a limited number of pages. And the rest of these work in similar ways. I don't think there's any uh, new way to say it. This History Study Center is absolutely awesome. It goes back to the 1950s. It is unattractive. So I am going to go here because honestly, I looked at this and I was like, no. So. Sometimes the interfaces just don't keep up. I'm just going to let it rock and roll for this one. I think I've been all over the place. But it has historical documents. And uh, these are back to 1956 and 1990. And, well, that is still history. And that's going to give you some information as well. And it's going to talk about the development of mass culture in regard to rock and roll. So it is unattractive but useful. So you might want to try that out for your research as well. You should totally find Humanities Abstracts easy to use. It's the same um, EBSCO publisher as this, so very easy to use, just like ProQuest. But I'm going to show you NewsBank. Um, this is going to be a huge database of newspapers and news magazines, not just current, but historical. So if you want to go to more search options, you can do that right away because um, you will have sort of a date search. I like doing that on the second page. And it also gives you a website or find source by location. So if you're just looking at rock and roll music in some place in, say, South America, you could select that. I could put in rock and roll. I don't know where it's going to go, but let's give it a shot. Rock and roll. Because I just did that one. And I'm going to change the date range on the next page. I can also pick different places. I'm going to pick Brazil. 
I think they do have a big metal scene there. I'm really unsure. But uh, I'm going to select a field here because newspapers um, sometimes have most of their information in the first and lead paragraph. Sometimes you can also do a title search and that's going to be more effective for you. So doing this search, and sometimes it is a little slow, I'm going to find all sorts of things that I may not be able to read right now. I'm going to show you how to move this over. Suppose I want it in the past five years or only the metal rock scene in Brazil in the 90s, and I can also put in the name of the person. Um, and let's see down here. Let's kind of go down. Oh, I can't get it. Go down. You can also go down to the bottom and see um, World America's News Magazines and also look at things specifically in Washington or Seattle if you're trying to look for a scene or music or something to do with those areas there. And these are things that often can go back quite a few years with history and be up to date and very, very current and very particular. You might find some very odd things about different people when they're in different cities on various tours. Procrest is luscious and huge. And it's like Netflix in a way. And Netflix is in itself a database. Proquest is uh, very lush. It covers things from astronomy to zoology. And I um, don't even know what to put here. I'm just going to put in harpsichord. I think, I don't know if I know how to spell it. We will go with piano concert. I am running out of things to search. And I know you guys have all these beautiful, unique ideas. And I just want to show you how these work. So here you'll see... Um, things that may not be in full text. So let it know you want what you see. What you see is what you get. You do have opportunities for peer reviews, books, audios, and newspapers, and you can change your various publication dates. This is the beautiful thing that this does. If you come here and you find an article, it will kindly suggest other articles that may be useful. It will also suggest other types of searches and keywords, which is quite awesome. So this can be a very wonderful thing. It has quite a few music journals inside of it, so it is worth your time. I put just these down here. These are just magazines. It's going to take you into either a database where you can select a specific database. In this case, this is what it looks like, and it's in the research library. And you'll be able to search that specific journal right here. It's also inside of ProQuest, but it may be more useful for you to look at it just in this way. Maybe you just want to browse through it. We have it from 2014, so that might be helpful for you. So if you there's other um, magazines or journals you want me to see if we find, I can actually add them to this piece. This is your research spot. If you want me to add things, do always, if you need to, reach out to me. This is a great place to find me, and I'll make sure I change this if you need any help or guidance or you're struggling with a database or a keyword. Reach out to me. I'd love to work with you. Enjoy your projects. They sound really fantastic.